lovers, it's Sarah, and today I'm going to be making a birthday card with a cupcake on it. And I'm using a cupcake from the Sweet Treats cartridge. And it is the cupcake on page 26 of the handbook. And I didn't cut this out because I didn't want the little tick marks that the Cricut makes, so I cut it out in blackout at two and a half inches. So I cut that layer out, the wrapper layer, and, oh, just broke my nail. Um, that, the wrapper layer, and then the sprinkles, and this little um, circle here is supposed to be the center of the flower, but I actually used it as a cherry on top of my cupcake. Okay, so let's get started. This is a regular four and a quarter by five and a half card, and my card base is made out of Paper Tree Inks Craft Cardstock. The pattern paper that I'm using today is from the 6x6 uh, My Mind's Eye, the Fine and Dandy line, and it's uh, the Girl one. And I got this at Michael's. My Michael's has a ton of My Mind's Eye 6x6 papers. I'm so excited. So my card base, I'm just using this. It looks like binder paper almost. Or I guess it does look like binder paper. And so this is cut at four by five and a quarter. Oh, I love that chevron on the back. Let me go ahead and adhere this down to my card. Just one layer on this card today. This part of the card is pretty simple because there's quite a lot of details on this card. All right, so there's our card base. And then our little cupcake here, what I've done was I cut the wrapper out of that really cute pink polka dotted paper. And then the sprinkles I just cut out of um, three different shades of pink, blue, and green, and then my little red cherry. And I've got this Caribbean Baker's Twine um, that can be purchased on the Scrappy Moms blog. I'm going to tape this down with some tape. I'm going to go ahead and adhere this down to my card base. And then I have my little bow, and I'm going to grab my Scotch Quick Dry Adhesive and put a little drop on the back of my bow, and then just stick that right in the middle. Hold it down for a minute. Okay, so my bow is attached to my darling little cupcake, and now what I'm going to do is I made a little banner using... Emma from My Creative Times Build a Banner Kit and I used this die here and I cut it out three times and then I cut two of these little starbursty shapes out. <clears throat> so here's my little banner and I cut the banner piece from some stripe paper and then the little starburst pieces are out of that same polka dotted and these adorable cupcakes are from the sticker sheet from EK Success it's the sticko line and my crafty friend Christina sent these to me but I have seen these at Walmart I did stock up on a couple more sheets of them because I love them so much I don't want to run out and I just think they're so stinking cute on this banner and I actually got the inspiration for my cupcake from the little cupcakes that I use or the stickers so, I am trying to decide how I am going to do this. Hmm. I'm just going to go for it. Sometimes I put too much thought into how I'm going to do something. Just do it. Alright, I'm going to grab some small glue dots. And I'm not even going to, I'm just going to, however it goes, it goes. I'm just going to stick my twine down in the glue dot. That'll get covered up by my banner, so. Grab another glue dot. And 
I want it to kind of hang loose. And then I think I'm just going to grab my ATG, put some on the back of my banner. Yeah, I like it like that, where it looks kind of a little bit messy and not really... Okay, so I'm going to trim this off. And then, for my sentiment, I am using three stamps from the Mini Scrappy Moms Mini Messages set. I This is a must-have for card makers. I love this set. It's so many different messages, and they're tiny, so they fit perfect on cards. And what I've done, I wanted to do something a little bit different for my sentiment because I'm always just stamping it. And so I wanted to try something that I've never done before. So what I've done is I stamped three different sentiments and I just used those same green, pink, and blue. And I got those colors for my cupcakes, the green, pink, and blue. And let's see, that was supposed to go up a little bit higher, but it'll be okay. And I stamped the birthday wishes. I've seen this done before where you stamp the same color ink onto the cardstock. So the green one I used Jenny Bolin Stick Candy for the birthday wishes. For the Just For You, I used Memento Rosebud that Christina also sent me. And then for the blue, I used Jenny Bolin's Speckled Egg. So I'm going to go ahead and adhere those down. And I just cut the ends to try to mimic the shape of the die for my banner. Okay, so my sentiments are on. Now I've got these pink rhinestones. Um, they're the Recollection Brands from Michaels. Got to have a little bling on my pink birthday card. So I was going back and forth with whether I was going to use the dark ones or the light ones. I think I'm going to use the light ones. I'm just going to stick them um, at the bottom of my little banner piece. And then I was going to stick them. Um, you know what? Why not? What the heck? I might take these off later if I don't like it. Never have too much bling, right? And then maybe a little one right there in the center of my bow. And I'm almost finished. I did have a couple more bows I was going to add onto my banner. And if I were to mail this card, I would probably stick it in an envelope that's bigger than the card because I do have things kind of hanging off and it is kind of bulky with all the bling and stuff. So I'd probably do a little bit bigger envelope. And there's my finished card. I love the colors. I think it turned out really cute. Okay, so that's my card for today. Thanks everybody for watching and have a blessed day.